Welcome to the new chapter on linear law. Okay, so I understand this is new to you. So in this video, we will just look at uh, the basic idea of linear law and you know what what is this chapter all about. Okay, so maybe I'll use a simple example to start you guys off. Okay, take for example, I have this particular graph y equals to ax squared plus bx. Okay, so we all know that this is a quadratic curve, okay, and depending on the value of a, okay, which you have learned in the previous chapter, if a is greater than zero, this is going to be a smiley curve, and if a is less than zero, it's going to look like a frowny curve, okay. So if that's the case, if I were to plot the graph of y against x, I will either get a smiley or a frowny curve, okay, depending on the value of a. But what if I want to get a straight line graph? This is what this chapter is all about, okay, the f at least the first part of this chapter, okay, just to convert this graph into a straight line graph. And recall that in your previous chapter, you also learned that if any um, equation can be expressed in this form, y equals mx plus c, then it is a straight line graph. Okay, so okay, so um, you know, give using this equation, if we can convert it into this form, then it is a straight line graph. Okay, so how do we convert it? So we will first divide by x throughout. We will first divide equation number one, okay, by x throughout, and then I'll have y over x equals to ax plus b okay so you realize that now this is in the form y equals mx plus c where my big y is y over x my big x is just x my m is a and then my c is b okay that means to say if i were to plot the graph of y over x against x I will like it is likely that I will get a straight line. Okay, so this is the basic idea for linear law. Okay, and in the next few videos, we will go through a few examples as well as a few practice questions. I hope this video uh, helps you. See you for now.